Right. Today is about the story problem. Okay. We are going to study different type of story problem. Okay. Uh, this is called a logic deduction. Okay. You're not going to solve equations, but based on the information you get, and you're trying to figure out uh, the original, uh, the original, you know, the, the original, what happens here, okay? So let's begin with the following problem. Of course, you have to do some analysis. In some months, okay, there are more Tuesdays than Mondays, and uh, more Wednesdays than Thursdays. Which day of the week is the last day of the month? You know, maybe Monday, maybe Wednesday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. <laughs> so before you solve this problem, you think about how many days in one month first. Make some, you know, analysis. Okay. And uh, we know that uh, one week, right? One week equals uh, seven days, okay? One week equals seven days, okay? So one month, it's not clear. The one month there, the number of the days is between 28 to 31 days. So if it's 28, there'll be seven week, okay? So it's between seven week uh, four weeks, yeah, to four weeks plus plus three days more. Okay, so there are some extra days there. Okay, okay that's a between, yeah, let's just say between those two 28 days and the 31 days. Okay, now when we say so, minimal, you know, every um. Okay, so there are at least four weeks there, right? So at least there are four Mondays, four Wednesdays, four Fridays. That's just a, at least, there's some days. First of all, okay, uh, there are some students very naughty here. Okay, do not write on my screen. I have to find out who did it if you do one, okay? And uh, mute your microphone. Okay, thank you. Uh, so there are, so when we say, you see, think about that, every month there are at least the four Mondays, four Tuesdays, four Thursdays, four Wednesdays, but at the most only five, you know, five Wednesdays, five Tuesdays, for example, right? So when I say there are more Tuesdays than Mondays, you conclude that there are only four Mondays but six, uh, five Tuesdays there, okay? So based on the information you get, right? So there are four Mondays, okay? Uh, uh, but five Tuesdays. Mondays, okay? You have a four Mondays, but Tuesdays, you have a five. And the more Wednesdays and Thursdays, so Wednesdays, you have a five Wednesdays. And the Thursdays, you only have four, right? So this is information very important, how to make it like that, right? So let's usually use a usual tradition, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, okay? So in order to have a five Tuesday, five Wednesdays, you must have a five row set. So you begin with, this right Wednesday five right and uh, and you have to have a five see one two three four five okay then <laughs> you uh, you cannot uh, for the Monday okay and for the Sunday you cannot start from the first row otherwise see for the see clearly this is must be here right 
because otherwise you cannot complete the picture. Okay, so that is the only possible way you can put a star here as those. Okay, you have to miss the first two. Okay, so now the clear the picture if you understand this, and then you have to complete this. So there's no other solution. So that's the only possible uh, way you can do. Okay. So am I talking or not? Uh, let me double check. Yeah, you should hear me, okay? Yeah. All right, so this is a, uh, this is a picture. So you have to do some analysis based on the given information, okay? Then, uh, then, uh, then have a starting point somewhere. So what I did here is I, 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 I can mark those Tuesday and Wednesdays first. Right. Then the answer will be, and then it's clear that. <clears throat> so I cannot have more than four days for Tuesdays, Thursdays. Okay. It's clearly because Thursday, I know that's only four days there. Okay. So that's why the last day of the week, the answer will be, uh, the answer will be uh, Wednesday. Okay, that's Wednesdays. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So please turn off, turn off your video. Don't make any change during the, my lecture, okay? So our next problem will be the same similar problem. Now you can work on that. Okay, I'll give you one minute to think about it. Okay. Okay. All right, so let's work out this. Uh, Okay. The same reason, right? They are, uh, well, based on what we have here, there are more Sundays than Saturdays. So the number of the Sundays, you have the five. But Saturday, you only have four Saturdays. More Tuesdays than Wednesdays. So Tuesdays, you have five Tuesdays. Wednesday, you only have four Wednesdays. What day of a week? is the last day of the month. Now in that case, uh, let's see, how can I mark five day, five Sundays? Sunday, right? Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oops, sorry. Okay, so you got this Saturday, Right, Sunday, Sunday, you have to have five Sundays, no, no problem. If this is a Sunday, begin with Sunday, five Sundays, so I have five rows here, so they're all here, okay, because I have to go through the, the whole line. And uh, you also know that uh, uh, Tuesday, there are five Tuesdays there, okay, okay, five, 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 like a puzzle, right? So then you have to have uh, five Mondays, definitely. Now, you are told that there are only four Wednesdays. So that means you have to stop here, right? Then the rest of them you have to fill out. Okay, so now I clearly get a picture like this. And the answer is still, uh, the answer is still uh, Wednesday. So this will be the last day of the month. Okay, right? Yeah, Wednesdays there are only four days there. Oh, Tuesday, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, Tuesday, sorry. I, I look at it wrong. I got Tuesday, not.
Yeah, there are only four Wednesday there. Okay, so this is how do we do that? Okay, so first of all, you have to figure out maximum number of Mondays, maximum number of Tuesdays, well, you know, the minimum number of Mondays, minimum number of Tuesdays. Then, based on the given information, you figure out how many Mondays, how many, how many Sundays, or how many Tuesdays there. Okay, you're not given any information about uh, Monday, but then Monday is between Sunday and Tuesday. So that's, it, it also, you know, there should be five Mondays there. So this is a, how do we, uh, yeah, how do we analyze? Okay, so you have to find, find uh, the point, key point, the gap, you know, get in, okay? And then you solve the problem, okay? All right, so now we're going to look at a different type of problems. Okay, this is called, uh, uh, yeah, it's logic analysis. Okay, A, B, C, playing the basketball and the broken window, okay? And A says, she did, she, C did, okay? B said, I did not break the window. And the C said, that B did, okay? So, but we know that's only one line and the, then the who broke the window, okay? So we want to figure out who did it, okay? okay. Yeah, we want to find out. Uh, all right, so to solve this problem, we, uh, we have to find a good way to do that, okay? So otherwise, this problem is getting more and more complicated, and like everybody says, see, see, did it, okay? So stop, okay? Kelvin, don't type too many. You're getting problems here. Okay, I have to give you a warning. You need to control your manner. Okay, the behavior in the classroom. Okay, so uh, so what I'm going to show you is a way to do is uh, um, we assume. Okay, here's a point. Okay, so this is I'm going to draw three chart. Okay, okay, and each of them I give um, A, B, C. Okay, A, B, C. Okay, and uh, I assume that A did it, okay? And then the second one, we assume, yeah, we are under this assumption if B did it, okay? And I draw the, uh, draw the chart. This is a very efficient way to solve the problem. Otherwise, when the problem is getting more complicated, okay? Okay, and if C did it, okay? And this is a true or false. You know, they are going to tell the truth or false, okay? All right, so, so let's look at this chart, okay? So if A did it, okay, then we check each sentence, okay? A says C did it, because actually A did it, right? So C did it, right? So in that case, A lines, okay? And then B said, I did not break the window, I think this is a true statement. And then C said, B did it. It's a false truth, false statement. Because, because we already assumed that in this case, A did it, okay? In the second case, we assume B did it. In that case, if B did it, then the statement, A statement is wrong because he said the C did it. And how about B? B said he did not. I did not break the window. That's a true. That's a wrong statement. Okay, and then C said B did it. That's a true statement. Okay, okay. So then you go to the next step, last one. So you assume C did it. Okay, if C did it, okay, this is A B C. Okay, A B C. So C did it under this assumption. What A said. 
okay? And said C did it. That's a true statement, right? Right, because C did it. So A said C did it. B said I did not break the window. That's also the true statement because C did it. And uh, C said B did it. That's a, that's a wrong statement. Okay, that's a false, false statement. Okay, because we, are, we assume that C did it. Now the question is only one line, then find out who, who broke the window. Only one line. And look at these three pictures, okay? In the first picture, and the assumption A did it, two of them lines. And the second assumption B did it, also two of them lines, okay? Only the last one, one person line. One person line. So, so the last assumption is correct, okay? The last assumption is correct. So, so the answer is, C did it, okay? C broke the window, okay? Broke the window. <clears throat> so this is the way we, uh, we can uh, solve the problem, okay? Uh, All right, so let's uh, yeah, let's uh, let's move on to the next problem. Okay, so my uh, okay, my my suggestion to you is to to you know you, you have three persons here, so you draw three pictures, okay, and uh, and draw three pictures and um, and the and the each assumption. You 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 filled out the you know the table, okay, and you have to say which statement is true, true statement, false statement, okay. Then read the, all the sentences again, then you can figure it out, yeah, in each under each condition how many people lined, okay. All right, so let's take a look at the next problem. Let's take a look at the next problem. All right, uh, yeah, if your computer screen is large enough, then whatever pumps up probably not break the, uh, block the, uh, the screen. All right. All right, now, uh, so among A and B and C, only one can drive. A says, I can drive a car. B says, I cannot drive a car. C says, I cannot drive. So, oh, yeah, so it says A cannot drive, okay? So only, if only one of the three tells the truth, who can drive a car? Okay. Uh, okay, so same, uh, the same here. Uh, we can do the similar way, okay? We draw uh, three, um, I'm still drawing the same chart, okay? One, two, three, okay? And here's A and the B and the C, okay? So truth and false statement. Otherwise, you will be confused, you know, A, B, C, Okay, so we have to uh, uh, give us three different assumptions here. So we assume that A can drive, and here we assume that B can drive because we don't know at the very beginning, and C can drive. Okay, so in each case, the answer cannot be C, B, or C. Okay, uh, so let's see. So under the assumption A can drive, and we read all the sentence, okay? Read also sentence. I can drive a car. Yes, a true statement. 
that B says, I cannot drive the car. I think this is also a true statement because only A can drive. C says that A cannot drive, drive a car. So that's a false statement. That's not true. Okay. Then, and there's a second assumption. Okay. So you have to divide into three cases. It's like a problem coding. Okay. Case one, case two, case three. Then this happens, that happens. Okay. This is a, this kind of a, you know, idea is useful even in coding. Okay. So B can drive. Assuming that B can drive, if B can drive, then go to this table. So let's look at that. A says I can drive, that's not true, that's a false statement, okay? And then B says I cannot drive, actually he, he lies, and the F, because he can drive. And C said that A cannot drive. A cannot drive, that is a, a, that is a true statement, okay? Because B can drive, only one person can drive. Okay, uh, one person can drive, and that's as a B can drive. So A cannot drive, yes. Okay, so the last case, C can drive. Okay, C can drive, right? So you do the same thing. So let's say C can drive, so A says he can drive car, that's for statement. B says he cannot drive car, that's a true statement. Uh, yeah, that's a false statement and a true statement, okay? Because C can drive, so B cannot drive, so that's a true statement. And the C, C says A cannot drive, because C can drive, right? So that is a true statement. A cannot drive, because C can drive, only one person can drive, okay? So the, uh, uh, what we are given is that only one of the three tells the truth. Only one of the three tells the truth. Okay? So in which, in which case only one tells the truth? The one in the middle. You see? Max, yeah. The one in the middle. Because the first case, the two of them tell the truth. Okay? The last case, two of them tell the truth. The first, third one, one, only one tells the truth. So then the answer is B, right? That's how do we, how do we solve the problem, right? Yeah, you have to organize the way you think. You cannot just look at all the sentence and try to figure it out. It's very difficult, okay? It's very difficult. Uh, and you have to divide them into several cases. In each case, you, you draw the table, you see the information, okay, in each, and each assumption. Then you look at the last, uh, last uh, uh, sentence, say only one of the three tell the truth. Then the answer will be B. Now, if I tell you, yeah. If I tell two of the three tell the truth, then the answer will be either A or B, okay? You cannot determine completely. That's fine. Uh, yes. All right, so our next problem uh, is as follows. Uh, a and B and C were born in three different cities, Shanghai, Beijing, Hangzhou. Okay, so A has never been in Shanghai. That's the first assumption. B was not born in Shanghai and Hangzhou. You can find their birth, birthplace. Right? <clears throat> yeah, find their birthplaces. So think about that. You know, there are different type of problems, right? The different type of problems. My suggestion for you to make a chart, okay? Yeah, you, you,
Well, so the idea is that I'm going to make a chart, okay? I make a chart, you have to find the chart, okay? And uh, then have a one line, two lines, three lines. Okay, so here Shanghai and Beijing, okay, and Hangzhou, okay, and this is A and B and C, okay. So you try to mark it. So A has never been in Shanghai, so you cross it. If never in Shanghai. Okay. Right? A has never been in Shanghai. Okay. Now B was not born in Shanghai. And uh, we're talking about birthday place, right? Birthplace. So B was not in, born in Shanghai and uh, Hangzhou. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Any other statement that we have? <laughs> now, based on that, okay, then you can gradually figure out the puzzle. They look at the C, okay? It's because they are, they are were born in different cities. So look at the C. You know, we, ne we know information we got for C, okay? No information we got in for C. But, a is not in Shanghai, B is not in Shanghai, right? B was not born in Shanghai, A is not in Shanghai. So C must be born in Shanghai. If C was born in Shanghai, you have to do the rest of them, you just cross it. Then you look at the B. B was not born in Shanghai, B was not born in Hangzhou, then B must be born in Beijing. Then after you figure out the two, then clearly A must be born in Hangzhou because they're before, they're all born. They're First the place are different. So then you feel that. then you then you you feel yeah, feel fill out all the tables. Okay. So C is in yeah. Okay. So that's how do you do that? You make a chart and uh, and uh, and uh, you have to find out the starting point. Okay, if you find the starting point, then you can you can uh, uh, you can solve the problem. Okay. Yes. All right, uh, our next problem. Yeah, look at the next problem, okay? Uh, so I will ask you to think about first, the three students, A and B, C, one of them cleaned up the classroom while there were nobody around. So A says, B cleaned up the, cleaned the classroom, and B said, I did not do it. C said, never did I. Assuming that only one of them was telling the truth, who did it? Okay. Okay. Now to solve this problem, uh, so what's the answer? So you already get the answer. So the answer is wrong. 
I don't make conject. You have to work out one by one. And somebody, yeah, please turn off the video. Okay, so everybody got a C, some got a B. Of course, one of them did it, right? You see, in this, for this type of problems, I told you that you needed to make a table. Okay, and uh, three different assumptions. Okay, so this this is the best way to solve the problem. Otherwise, it's harder to use a brain to think about. Okay, and uh, yeah, so this is a, a B C, the same problem, right? Uh, that's a choose the fails, uh, false, choose false. Each statement, let's examine it, and the three different assumptions. Okay, it's like a program, you know. Yeah, if you someday, if you do more complicated program, then you will, okay, you will see this type of situation. All right, so we assume that A did it. Uh, we assume that B did it. We assume that C did it. Okay, and there's these three different assumptions. Let's see how many people tell the truth. If you find out in one of the situations, only one of them tell the truth, then that is answer, right? That assumption is wrong, uh, correct. Okay, let's take a look at the first one. Uh, a says, B clean up the classroom, but actually A did it, so that's why it's a false truth statement. B said, I did not do it, that's, I did not do it, right? Yes, that's true statement because A did it. And then C said, neither did I, neither did I. Okay, it's also true statement because C did not do it, okay? Right. The second statement, we assume that, we assume, okay, we assume B did it. Then you read those three sentences again, and uh, A says B did it. That's a true statement. B said, I did not do it, that's false statement. C said, C said, neither did I. So that is going to be yeah, think about that, right? Is that a true statement or not? Because we assume that B did it. C said he did not do it, right? Yeah, that's a true statement. I'm going to use a true statement. I have to use them. Uh, yeah, let's use them, but that's fine. So the last one. We assume that C did it. So A says, B cleaned the classroom, that's a false statement. B said, I did not do it, that's true statement, because C did it. And uh, C said, neither did I. So that means C did not, uh, did not do it, right? C did not do it. So that is a statement, okay. Okay, let's look at the picture. I think there's no answer here. Uh, let me see. Oh, okay, I, okay, I read it to the wrong sentence. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to, did I, did I type it wrong? Yeah. Let's go back. 
only one of them telling the truth. Okay? Only one of them telling the truth. So we assume that this is a, yeah, this is a, we assume that only one of them telling the truth of who did it, right? That's a picture. Okay. So uh, what is the statement about C? Neither I did it. Okay. That's a false statement because we assume that C did it. Okay. So that's it. I would look at the wrong place. Okay. So when you look at this picture, you see that, right? Only the last one. Only the last one, uh, only the last picture, right? Only one of them tells the truth. So that, that means the answer comes from the last picture. So the answer is C. Okay. All right, now we're getting more complicated problems. Uh, I will, uh, yeah, what's going on the pictures? Does not show up here, no? Can you see that? Oh yeah, can you see the, yeah, can you see that, right? Okay, so this is a problem here. Okay, what are we trying to do here? A and B and C participate in a mass contest. After the contest, okay, each made a statement. A said C was the first. I am the third one. B said uh, I'm the first, that D is the fourth. C said, D is the second, I'm the third. D did not say anything. So after, after the contest result is shown, people find out A, B, C, each told half of the truth. Can you give the order of their person? <laughs> Don't be confused, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so this is a, Difficult problem. Let me uh, show you uh, how to, let's have to start the point, okay? Uh, there are there's just too many, too many statements there, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I just assume, uh, I look at the statement by A, okay? A said that C is the first, I'm the third. And we were told that A, B, C each told half of the truth. So one sentence, the two, two statements made by A, C is the first, I'm the third. So we can assume C is the first, okay, or A is the, first, A is the third, at the third place, okay? Only one of the statements is correct. So we, are, we begin with A. Okay, we are, uh, yeah, we begin with A. A is a statement. Okay. When then we divide into two cases, we assume that, uh, we assume that A is, uh, the first statement by A is correct. C is at the first base. Then you're trying to uh, figure out the details, okay? So, so C is at the first place. So you mark it. Okay, that's correct, right? Under the assumption, C is at the first place. Then you, uh, then the other statement is wrong. The other statement says, 
I am the third one. That's a wrong statement. A is that third is wrong statement. Wrong statement, cross it. All right, so that's figured out. So how can we already use the, the first condition, okay? Now, uh, now you have to look for the statements can, about the first place or the, or the second place, okay? You look at the D statement, okay, statement D. I did not, uh, no, D did not say anything, okay? Yeah. And uh, let's see. Let's look at the statement made by B. Can we do figure out anything? B said, I'm the first. D is the fourth, okay? Now, it's harder to figure out which one is correct statement from here because there's nothing with, um, uh, okay, look at the B. B says, I'm the first, okay? But that's not true because we already know that C is the, C is the first. So that means that statement is wrong. Then the second statement must be correct because D is the fourth, okay? D is the fourth. You see, only half, half of what we said is correct. So you already know, right? C is the first place. You assume that at the very beginning. Then the first half of the statement by B is, is wrong. Then the second half is correct, okay? Then let's look at statement made by C. C says, I'm the second. Uh, D is the second, I'm the third one, okay? D says, I'm the second, okay? Uh, okay, people is already getting the order here. Okay, let's look at D is a, Second, one of the statement must be must be wrong. Okay, these are second. Okay. okay. I think that these are second the statement is wrong. Why? Uh, uh, no, 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 not not clear. Okay, the third one. I'm the third one. Okay. So. So C also tells half of the truth. D did not say anything. Okay. I'm the third one. So if you look at the third one, yeah, we, we is there two cases here. D is a D is a second, okay, second place. Okay, if D is a second place, let me change the color here. Okay, if D is a second place, is true. Okay, if D is second place, is true. And I think this not cannot be true. The reason is these already know the fourth place. So right, look at that. These are fourth place. So D cannot be second place. Then the second half statement is correct, should be right. So I'm the third one. So third one. C is the third one. Then it's impossible. You have a two third. C is already the first one. Okay. So that was a contradiction here. Okay, that's a contradiction here. So C cannot be the third one, okay? And C can, uh, uh, D cannot be the second one. But the C says that D is the second one, C is the third one, right? So that's impossible, so it's impossible. Because the statement by C is completely wrong, but I will assume that the statement by C, half, half is correct. So that means you have to move to the next step. Uh, since since uh, uh, the statement by C is completely wrong, Okay, no sentence correct. Okay, so now we end. Uh, we are going to figure out uh, uh, the table under the assumption A is a third place. Okay, don't be in a hurry. Okay. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. 
So A is at the third place. A is at the third place. That's correct a statement, right? A is at the third place. You, you check it because we assume that. If A is at the third place and then uh, the first statement made by A is wrong, C is a first, okay? C is the first place, it's a wrong statement, okay? Then you, uh, you look at what the statement made by C or B, then it doesn't matter which one you can figure it out. You look at the C, I can, yeah. C says that I'm the third. I think it's impossible because third place is already taken by A. Then, then uh, these are second should be true statement. These are second should be the true statement, okay? Then you go back to B. Uh, B says that B is the first, D is the fourth place. And this fourth place is definitely wrong because D already, you determine the D, the place, so that's wrong. Then B says I'm the first should be correct, okay? So that is a picture here, and you can see, okay, D does not, did not say anything. So now it's clear that B, the first place is B. The second place is D. The third place is going to be A. And then I'm pretty sure the fourth place and B, C, right? It should be C. Okay, that's all you need. Right, so that's how do you solve the problem, okay? And, uh, and uh, the first place B and uh, yeah, B and D and A and C. Okay, so got it? So you will get, you will begin with the statement by A. Then then the two possibility, you assume one of them first, okay? Then you find out the first assumption is wrong, okay? Then you go to the second assumption, then you can go through, you can figure out the table, no get, no contradiction, okay? Then, uh, then you solve the problem, okay? So let's take a look at the next problem. It's pretty similar, now you probably can do it. So you begin with A, okay? You begin with A, a statement made by A, okay? It's a little bit uh, confusing, but uh, yeah. Uh, no, this is about the colors. Oh, it's colors. Okay. So let me give you a hint. Okay. So uh, there are five. Uh, there are five red, uh, red, uh, yellow, blue, white, pink bumbles. One in each box. Okay. One in each box. In one inch box, so you have five box. So the box is covered. Okay, boxes are put in a row. And B and C and the E F. Uh, those are five people. Guess the color of the marbles in each box. Okay. Okay. Uh, please don't 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 put it on the screen. Okay, because when I move the screen, it's gone. Okay. So I'm going to put uh, one. Box one, box two, box three, box four, box five. Then, and uh, and I also put the color here: red, yellow, blue, white, pink. Okay. Okay. Now we have to make some assumption. Okay, and we have to assume that the uh, egg guesses right. So. We also know that only half of each statement is true. So we begin with A is a statement and only half of them is true. So we, we assume that A statement, the second one is, is pink, okay? The second one is pink. Okay, another statement is the third one. The third one is yellow, okay? So one, two, three, four, five. 
red, yellow, blue, white, pink. Okay. And uh, under each assumption, under each assumption, which one you can eventually uh, uh, complete the table. And uh, one of the table at the end, you get contradiction, then that's impossible. You have to mark the impossible, then that works, okay? Well, uh, we don't know yet, right? So let's, let's figure out this one by one, okay? You probably end up with uh, the contradiction, okay? So we assume that the second one is pink is correct statement, okay? This the second one is pink is correct statement, okay? So where's a pink? Second one is pink. That's a correct statement. Then the third one, the third one is yellow. The third one is yellow is the incorrect statement. Okay, that's made by A. Okay, now you can try and look at the B. B says that the second one is blue, the fourth one is red. But you don't know which one, the second one is blue, okay? The second one is blue. Uh, is that correct statement? Right, because we already know the second one is pink. So the second box, the marble in the second box is a pink color. So then the second one is blue is going to be the wrong statement, okay? Then the second one is blue is the wrong statement. Then the fourth one is, uh, is red is correct statement, okay? So that's how do you do that, okay? Because only half of the statement is correct. Then let's look at the C. C says that the first one is red and the fifth one is white. Well, I cannot say anything about the first one and the fifth one this moment. I skip, okay? I go to E, okay? E says that the third one is blue. The third one is blue. The third one is blue. I think the third one is not blue. Uh, the third one is blue, yeah. Uh, third one is blue. The fourth one is white. Let's look at the fourth one. Which statement is correct? Fourth one is right. Is not going to be correct uh, statement because I already know the fourth one, the color in the fourth box. Okay. Fourth one is white. Is the wrong statement. Okay. Then the third one is blue. Is correct statement. Okay. Then. Okay, then you have a problem here was uh, uh, we haven't do the statement uh, C here, right? This C have we wait for one because it's talking about first one is the last one, okay? Now we look at the F. F says that second one is yellow. That's a wrong statement because I already know the second one is pink. Then the fifth one is pink is correct statement. The fifth one is pink. And the correct statement, the fourth is correct statement. Then you have a trouble, right? Uh, the fourth one is a, is a pink color because pink color still shows up in two different places. So you end up with, yeah, the fifth one is pink. The second one is uh, yellow. The second one cannot be yellow, it's already pink. Then the fifth one is a pink. Uh, this is a, should be correct statement. Then you get a contradiction. So this is a, this is a place where you, you make trouble here. You know? And, uh, and uh, the pink color shows up in the second box and the fifth box. It's impossible, this side. Okay? And uh, then, you, uh, then you move on to the next one. Maybe you have no solution, then you show no solution. If both are impossible, impossible, okay? If both are possible, then the solution, you know, if the second more likely it's possible, okay? So you step by step, you do that, okay? So the third one uh, is yellow. The third one is yellow. That's a correct statement. We assume that, we begin with that, right? Okay? 
Then we look at the statement by A. The second one is pink. It's a wrong statement. Okay. And then you look at the B. B says the second one is blue. The fourth one is red. Okay. The fourth one is red. We still cannot get anything. So I'm not going to, I don't know which one is right. So I have to skip to, uh, I should look for, um, what I'm going to do is that I already use a statement by A, so I cross it, okay? Then I go through the statement which can, was talking about second place or the third place. So I find out the statement by E. The E says the third one is blue, the fourth one is white. The third one is blue, that's the wrong statement. Then the fourth one is white, should be correct statement, okay? Then I have a three, four, two, three, four. Then I can look at uh, the stand by F. F says that second one is yellow, the fifth one is pink. Second one is yellow, the fifth one is pink, okay? But you don't know which one, right? Correct, because you have to one of them is correct. Second one is the yellow, I'm not sure it's correct, okay? And the fifth one is pink, I don't know which one is correct because I only know the second one cannot pink. So you go back to, uh, you go back to, uh, yeah, we go back to uh, as, a, as a statement, okay? So we already, yeah, look at the B. B says that the fourth one is red. We already know false one color. So false one is red uh, is a wrong statement. And then the second one is blue should be correct statement. Okay? Second one is blue should be correct statement. Then you look at the C. The third, first one is red. We don't know. The fifth one is white. Fifth one cannot be white. Then the first one must be red. We are almost, uh, I think we did all of them, right? No, not yet. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so based on this information, you will see that the first box, it's red. The second box is going to be blue. The third box is going to be yellow. The fourth box is going to be, the fourth box is going to be uh, white. And then the last one, fifth box should be, yeah, fifth box should be pink color, okay? And, uh, and you have to go, you know, sometimes you have to go through the rest of them then because uh, maybe you get a contradiction, okay? I think this could be correct. Yeah, we stop here. Yeah, R, B, W, Y, and P, okay? Uh, my, uh, we still have uh, one minute, okay? I'm not going to talk on the last one, but I want to talk on the number two, okay? Number nine, okay, we are A and B and C participating in chess contest. So Louis, if one person is defeated, then he cannot continue to play with others, okay? Just, and uh, a play, a played four times, B played three times, C played two times, okay? So D played only once. How many times did the E play? I did not mention the E yet, okay? How many times did the E play, okay? Yeah. Well, uh, this problem, okay? So how do you do that? You draw the tape, draw the chart, okay? A and the B and the C and the D and the E, okay? Let's do this way. Now, I connect them if they're A planned four times. So, so I, if, yeah, if A wins, I begin with A. If A wins, I draw the line to, to each of them, okay? So that means A stay here, you know? One by one, the rest of that's so only four people. Okay, then B planned three times. Okay, so it's clear that B planned with A, but then, right? And uh, 
but probably not the first time. Otherwise, he he already lost, so he cannot continue playing. So P planes was was a uh, was a uh, uh, and a D only plane once. So you can be you cannot connect with D. So the possible way to do is is this. Okay. So this is a B plane was E first, and C then was A. Then it lost. Okay. Then, uh, then what is the next step, right? So uh, B plans three times, C plans two times. So C already planned was B and A. Then D planned only once. So how many times did the E plan? I think E planned twice, okay? Uh, e planned twice, was A and was a B, okay? So it's clear, right? They have two lines connected. Okay. The answer is two. Okay. So uh, yeah, we'll stop here, and uh, I hope uh, you you learn this type of problems now.